guys welcome back I'm sorry it's been a while since I did a video I don't know how good the audio is gonna be but uh, I'm not wearing a mic so I'm just using the road mic on top of the camera uh, it's a little windy so y'all just bear with me we're starting off the build on this other tilting solar array uh, it took me a little while I've been fighting pneumonia doing better now but I run out of breath pretty easy um, I'm gonna kind of take y'all through a few steps show y'all how I done it and we'll we'll just go from there all right guys we'll see y'all if we're gonna build this thing I'm gonna show you how it's done give you a few things I done personally to make it work and see if you guys like it so here we go now let me see if I can keep this stuff together all right on your poles here these are four by six poles they're buried anywhere between three and four foot in the ground you want to make sure they're all straight in a row you want to cut them all level to the top of each other. Once you get that done, you know, put your concrete in, make sure they're stable. Don't just throw them in the dirt. Um, I use high strength concrete, quick crete out of a bag. And like I said, they're about four foot deep almost. These were 12 foot poles. There's a reason for that. And they're only about 60 inches out of the ground on the lowest one. And on the tallest one, they're about 70. So the ground, we got a big slope here on this hill. Um, once you get all that done, you're gonna get you some bolts, of course. These are uh, seven inch bolts, eight inches long. And these will be going through these poles like so. And that's gonna be what's holding our structure. What you wanna do is once you get all your poles cut level, you make sure they're all straight, is you're gonna measure down two inches from the top of the post and put a center mark on that two inch line. You're gonna take your drill, pure and simple. You're gonna line it up, make sure you drill your hole straight as possible. The straighter the better, it makes it pivot. Now I'm drilling a one inch hole. That way, when I put that seven eighths bolt in there, it doesn't tighten, the wood doesn't swell around it. So it makes it still easy to move up and down. Be a little loose, but it won't hurt anything. It's only an eighth of an inch. So here we go, guys. One, set one inch hole, ready to go. We'll take a bolt. Make sure she's gonna fit in. And there we go. On to the next step. Alright guys. So what I've went ahead and done is over here, I've taken cut these boards nine foot long. The reason nine foot? Well, your super struts only ten foot. You can get it twenty, I know. But the way my panels are gonna set up, ten foot's perfect. So I cut them nine foot, which is gonna give me, once I'm done, about two inches overhang on each end. The reason being, on the end of these will be another two by six running long ways. So I've already prepped my boards. We're gonna take, we're gonna hang them. I'm gonna show you how to hang them. So it, it's kind of a, a weird thing. If you're any kind of carpenter, you'll understand some weird stuff I'm fixing to do. If not, you can kind of follow along. All right, you guys just see me look down this board. I'm reverse crowning them. And the reason I'm reverse crowning them is because all your weight's gonna be here and you want these to pick up on the ends. So you want the high side when you look down the straight edge to be down in the center. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna hang this first board, which is pretty easy, even by yourself. I mean, they're treated two by sixes, they're heavy, don't get me wrong, but they're not too bad. You want one washer on it, ready to go. You'll put your bolt in through here. You're gonna put another washer between it and the other board. This keeps it from locking the wood together. It kind of just helps it be easier to, you know, tilt when you need to. Pick it up, slide it in the hole, all the way through. Put your washer on, get ready for your next board. Sorry about the board getting in the way. So we're ready for our next board. Slide it on. Ready for 
pretty simple. Tighten everything up a little bit. I'm not going to be able to get the washer on this one just yet. Once I get it all tightened down, ready to go, it'll be fine. That's the problem right there. There it is. All right. So now we have our two boards. It looks kind of strange. I agree. But I've already prepped some more boards. And I'll show you that coming right up right now. All right, guys. So remember when I told you that the cutoff top will be used? It's the reason it's 12 foot. So here's the reason. You're going to take that 12 foot piece and cut you some blocks with the tuba sixes. That way you can lock these two tuba sixes together. This is all treated material. So yeah, it's a little pricey. It's not too bad. Uh, what I like to do is put two screws at each side. These are uh, three and a half inches. So put two at each side, get it kind of ready to go together. Lock this in together. Then we'll lock the other end together. So everything will start coming together pretty quick. This is a very simple build. Come back here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line this up square with the end. Square with the top. Zip a couple of Now here's a key point. When I cut these nine footers, I went four and a half foot in the center mark center of the board both ways and drilled another one inch hole so now they're balanced i mean they depending on how much water is in one it could tilt one way or the other so what you want to do is now that you have that block here you want to make sure this is flush whether you have to move it this way or this way or whatever you want it flush so you get it flush on the end down here flush on the top And screw her together. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat it from that end, get it square both ways, everything, and then we'll come back and show you how we're going to set our center blocks because it's going to be a total of four of these blocks here running in this. But they have to be like this one, I have a two by six on the end where you want that next block to be where you're going to put your hanger for your two by six going in between them. Because they, they don't have nowhere to connect on the end, so we're going to use hangers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and attach the one on the end. We're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. All right, guys, so what I've done is these are nine foot long. I basically divided nine by three, come up with three foot, three foot, six foot, and that's where I'm going to put my blocks on the inside. What I'll do is I'll center them on that mark. That way, they'll all be the same across. I have a good measurement, and I can keep it going. And we could put... Our hangers on the other side got something good and strong to tie in to the 2x6 and the 4x6. So I'm going to mount this one up, I'm going to mount the other one up, and then I'll come back. Alright, you can see what I've done here. I've put the blocks in, everything's good and square. Like I said, flush on this end and then flush on that end, that way the boards are twisted correctly. That'll keep everything square. And you'll see this, this is going to be a major deal once we get a little longer into this process. And we put the facial board and the cap board on it. And then we'll move along and I'll show you how. Now your pieces that you cut off, all these are 12 foot long. I got them 12 foot long, that way I've got a cut off. We're going to use those cutoffs, some of them. But um, that way it's better than having to buy a whole another board just to cut up. Uh, there's not much difference in price for a 12 foot or a 10 foot. So I went ahead and got 12 footers, I cut them down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to go ahead and build the rest of these all the way out. And then I'll come back and show you how we're gonna put our face board on. That way you guys can know how to measure it correctly and keep everything square 
that way this thing here moves easily and freely and it makes it really easy to tilt this array because it's balanced so see you guys in a minute i'm gonna build a bunch more all right guys i got all of them built you notice i put these little pieces on the end because kind of a one-man show here trying to do this but what you're going to do is for the boards for the outside you're going to come in and measure from the outside of this one your outer edge one to the center of this one because it doesn't matter what them out there are they need to match out there and square everything up so i'm fixing to cut that board and get them mounted and go around the outside with them we're going to do all four pieces the same and we'll be back all right guys so what i've done is put two screws here two screws on this one to lock these in place or i can bring the board up and screw it down so we're going to grab the board we're going to put it up What you want to do is put your center on first. Then on your outside edge, you're going to move it to be flush. that for all of them and we'll go to the center next all right guys y'all remember them cutoffs of the 12 foot 2 by 6 i was telling you about we're gonna need this is where we're gonna need it this actually strengthens it keeps it from pivoting because we do have a separation right here got all these up they're all in place i'm gonna take and put hangers on and put two boards on the three foot marks that we put on the inside uh two boards on each side then we'll be done with all our framing. I'll sit down and tell you what I spent on lumber and concrete and the hangers and everything. And then I'll probably do another video of the mounting system or racking the way I'm gonna do it because you can use any racking system you really wanted on it. You just have to space your boards accordingly to your panels. Um, once I'm done with this, I'll be back and we'll do a little sit down and talk. All right, guys. Well, let's put together. Now we're gonna stop doing any more construction to it because I'm going to make another video on that. Um, what you see here, including concrete, bolts, and everything, is about $360. This will hold 12 panels, 12 of your bigger, 250 to 300 watt panels. Um, I pulled, just pulled all the screws out of it, holding it level. Let's just see how easy it is to move. Simple enough. Now, I had uh, one of my subscribers tell me, hey, you can put a winch on it to, you know, move it around and position it. Well, I may do that just to try it out and see how it works for you guys. I technically do not need it, but I will put a winch on it just to see. It, it moves real easy, and with the panels on it, it moves just as easy. I mean, because everything is completely balanced. Um, I still need to come up with a good way to tie the actual tilt assembly to the post and be able to adjust it every month because I'm gonna adjust it monthly. I've seen an incredible difference between the two arrays I have here. One is a fixed array and one I tilt. Well, the one I'm tilting, I get anywhere from 500 to 1,000 watts more during the peak times of the day consistently. 
So that's a lot of energy that is being wasted not being on a tilted mount. So this one here we're going to stop, probably shoot another video with me putting my rail system on, which is a Unistrut. Now at this point you guys can put whatever rail system you want on. But I wanted to show you just a simple, easy way to make you a tilting array that will significantly improve your, your power coming in from the sun. Now, is it perfect? No. I, it's, it's not perfect lumber. It's not. It's just ground contact, pressure treated lumber. Uh, will it work? Will it last a long time? Yeah. At my other location, I have one up for a very long time, just lumber out in the yard, getting rained on. This stuff lasts an incredibly long time without it rotting and just deteriorating. So, do I have faith this will last 10, 15 years? Easily. Easily. So, guys, I hope you like it. I know I say I'm so a lot. Uh, tired. I uh, built the other tilting amount, put bars on it, put panels all in one day, no problem. I am completely exhausted. The pneumonia has gotten me down. So this is where I'm stopping today. Yeah, so appreciate y'all. I hope y'all like it. If y'all see any improvements I could do, leave comments. Tell me about it. But this is what I'm going with. Now if you give me some good improvements on the next one, the next one may be built that way. Just like adding the winch to this one I will be doing. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one very shortly. Thank y'all.